Yo, 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 what is up, man? It's your boy, Damn DPOV, and we are back with another video, man. So make sure if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. Go follow Kwame Brown on his YouTube channel, Kwame Brown Bus Life. And right now, uh, this is a portion of his live stream where he was talking about Jason Whitlock and how, uh, you know, Jason Whitlock was defending Bob Knight, saying that, you know, he's a great coach and all this and stuff, all, all this. But yet, he has so much to say about Deion Sanders, right? So, Jason Whitlock thinks Bob Knight is a great coach, a person that literally put his hands and physically and verbally abused his his um, his uh, athletes. When Deion Sanders is the exact opposite. So KB right now is about to prove to Jason Whitlock that Bob Knight was beating up his uh his athletes. So yeah, man, we got Bobby Knight. Uh, we get into a situation where integrity is. This was this was a guy who wrote a story about Bobby Knight in 2010, integrity versus hypocrisy, and it was it was crazy. Now, one of the players, let me go down to the part. He was talking about some coach from Kentucky, um, but one of his professors happened to play for Bobby Knight. So let me find the part. I know you play on you. Of course. Okay, of course, right here. He says, of course, his story was not uh, uh, unprecedented. In 1997, Knight choked a player at a practice. He would deny this claim, but after video evidence surfaced, the truth was known. So not only will, um, not only will Bobby Knight abuse teenagers, abuse players, and choke the hell out of them, but he'll goddamn lie about it. So he's an ass whipping of young kids with no integrity. Me and Coach Knight both would have been choking somebody out who was, who was messing up. No, was he no? Goddamn it! If, you, if I was a kid on y'all coaching staff, I'd have been kicking you and Bobby Knight's ass. Hell no. My coach cussed me out every day, but he ain't got there put his hands on. Me. So I'm just saying, we want to talk about going at Deion Sanders, but uh, the man lied about choking a kid, a young man, and then video evidence showed that Knight choked the young man. But yet still, Bobby Knight was praised. You know, he's a great Bobby Knight. This what these black boys need. You know, they ain't got no daddy. You just need somebody to whip their ass. You just need a white man that'll whip them. <laughs> you just need a white man that'll whip them and choke these little niggas. <laughs> that's the ideology of a lot of people. If they ain't got no daddy, beat him. <laughs> I just believe that's full of shit. If he ain't got a daddy, just beat him. It says violence was a... Uh, <laughs> it says violence was only one part of the equation. Bobby Knight, the man who speaks of integrity, developed a reputation for throwing chairs, doing a basketball game, verbally abusing referees and the media. Finally, finally, Bobby Knight was fired by the University of Indiana for allegedly grabbing an IU student by the arm and telling him to give proper respect. So this angry joker grabbed the kid, allegedly grabbed the kid, and all the student did was greeted Bobby Knight with a what up, what is up? So if you walk by Bobby Knight on campus, you're a young kid, this out of touch old grumpy some gun will grab your kid and say, don't you dare tell me what up, greet me with respect. That's what he supposed to be doing to somebody's kid. How many kids say what up to a dope? Hmm, crazy. You want your kid grab if he say what up to a coach? Shh. I well, I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure we all understand that, uh, yeah, we praise this man. We praise this man for this stupidity. But then we come down on Dion. And where am I at? Bobby Knight's success as a basketball coach and behavior was unacceptable. However, he still finds employment at ESPN. So none of what Bobby Knight did ever stopped him from getting paid. Bobby Knight still finds himself employed at ESPN, a controversial hire. Mm -mm -mm. And let's find the part where he said about the great word. Okay, so right here, he was asked about his stress management. I think if great is inevitable, relax and enjoy it, he replied. Knight tried to bully in defense and how he meant of uh, something is out of your control. So basically, if something is out of your control, you're supposed to, and he was talking about great, just relax and enjoy it. Just relax and enjoy it. In 1979, Knight was convicted on assault of a police officer. 1979, so Knight is a leader of men. He's saying if you are about to get great, then sit back and enjoy it. If you're about to get great, sit back and enjoy it. Wow. Yeah, this is a leader of men. This is a man that I want to lead my son that's going to assault a police officer. This is what all men need to learn. See, I told y'all. 
It's all about who we like. It's all about who we like. People don't care if a man talk about rape if we like him. People don't care if a man beat on kids if we like him. For whatever reason that we like him, it could be our favorite hero went to the school. It could be whatever. But it's all about who we like. Just know that. Because Jason Whitlock, even after knowing all this, Jason Whitlock himself knew that I was right about Coach Knight. Because Jason Whitlock himself wrote about the great coach, Bobby Knight. There will never be another Bobby Knight, Jason Whitlock said. Coming from a football background, I've always had a high tolerance level for bullies, especially successful, brilliant, passionate, and committed ones. So Jason Whitlock himself praised this behavior. So then why couldn't he respect my response, my respectful response? Why couldn't he accept it? Why did he have to dance around it? Why did he have to put me up in a chain? Why did he have to make it seem like I was ill-informed? Why? Black parents will view night differently, especially the ones from the Southern states. I'm just saying, the man came directly at my top, really, saying that I was ill-informed, I was all these things, when he's one of the guys that sung his praises, that he, in this article says, yeah, he says a few spicy things, oh, he has a bad attitude, oh, he did this, oh, he did that, but to sum it all up, he said, but his methods worked. So he said, because Jason Whitlock said, for that ability, it's never been all that difficult for me and any other boy to forgive Knight's many sins. See, it's all about what we like. See, he forgive Knight because he's an Indiana boy. Hmm. And Knight was winning. So don't you talk about Knight. Yo, let's put this focus back on Dion. Let's not talk about Knight because I'm from Indiana. And I respect what he did. Won three championships with Indiana. No matter how many black boys he destroyed, their confidence. No matter how many black boys, do you know how many black boys I done seen try out for basketball and they deal with a coach like that and they break their wheel and that same boy go out and start selling drugs and he done went to the streets all because he didn't want to slap the hell out of a racist white coach? You, it, it, he break more players. He break more players than he build, I can guarantee you that. Definitely. Kwame playing victim now? No, sir. Kwame just stayed facts. I said this man was praised and he was praised. Jason Whitlock, a man that can't look past Deion Sanders' sunglasses, praised a man who threw chairs at children, cursed out referees, cursed all the time, assaulted a police officer in 1979, uh, on camera choking out a kid, and all can be forgiven because he's an Indiana boy. And on that note, go watch the rest of the live stream on Kwame Brown's YouTube channel. But that's crazy how Jason Whitlock is talking all this crazy stuff about Deion Sanders. But he's praising a person that literally beat up black athletes. Well, not only black athletes, probably all athletes. But that's crazy. Jason Willock is disrespecting Deion Sanders, but uplifting Bobby Knight. It's truly about who we like. It's your boy, DMD signing out.